Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me, the ones who hate me. I was watching Mill City Boxing yesterday. Please go subscribe to that channel, their platform. And on Mill City, he had Ryan Garcia's dad as a guest on there. And he's actually going at um, Ryan Garcia's dad is going at two of the two people on there talking about his son being accused of uh, performance enhancements or banned substances. Now, it's funny because Ryan Garcia Pops keeps talking about, well, um, what was it? It was two two things he's tested for, Ostrine and um, I forget the other one off the top of my head. However, uh, however, Ryan has, uh, they keep coming out and saying, okay, well, he don't have that, but then they can't verify the Ostrine and the, the other guy that was on the Mill City box, and I forget his name top of my head, but he asked his dad point blank about a couple of things. Like, well, you know, they keep talking about, oh, Devin Haney's hanging out with Victor Conte and Snack, but Ryan Garcia has pictures and used to work with Snack, and he's affiliated with, with some people that was affiliated with Snack. Now, when they asked his dad about that, his dad would never answer the question well, I'm just saying all these grown people have my 25 year old son. My 20. First of all, man, listen. I get it. That's his son. I mean, that's his father. You gonna ride with your son? But your son is a grown man with a family now. Have y'all noticed that? You can't even. It's like they move the age of of uh, being an adult. They they keep for, at some point you ain't gonna be an adult till you 50. But you could be a great grandparent by then. Ryan Garcia is a parent. He makes money. All of us pay $70 to watch that fight. So, no, you can be critical of public people. But, no, we what, what we what we want to know is where did the ostrin come from? You said it came from some vitamin th- uh, pills. They came out and said that that's not true. And we understand that they just trying to get damage control. They talking about all oh, they trying to go against Ryan and uh, Ryan dad brought up Canelo Alvarez, who also cheated. You know, that tainted meat stuff. Get out of it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it was for tainted meat. But still, he, he he was suspended. And Ryan deserves to be suspended. Now, I do think it's going to be a slap on the wrist. It'll mess around be six months to a year. But Ryan ain't finna fight no more anyway. He just made, according to him, $50-something million. Dollars, and, you know, he ain't going to do nothing but say, all oh, the higher-ups are out to get, to, to get me. And his extreme diehard fanboys don't care. They don't care. If Ryan, if Ryan can pop dirty every fight moving forward and his fan base is going to say, oh, they're out cheating against him. Uh, we out there speaking real stuff, even though can't none, neither, none of y'all, nobody can come on my platform and still tell me what he was talking about when he said that he was drug out to the woods and forced to see horrified things with involving children. How come nobody's came out and talked about that? Listen, man, Ryan got caught point blank, period. Now... You got till May 22nd for the results to come out. And it just looks like they're getting ahead of it. They're getting ready to sue. They're getting ready to put out a statement. They're going to ride this until the wheels fall off. And that's okay, whatever. But you fan, it's just so funny that like, we got so many different people out here that are, if your guy pop dirty is an excuse, but if other people pop dirty, they need to be canceled. They're cheaters. They're a disgrace to the game. And this is why boxing is what it is. This is why we need some type of uh, sanctioning. Bo- we need some type of unification. To where when people get caught cheating, that's it. It ain't no excuse for that. You know? In the NFL, they get caught cheating, they gone. In the NBA, they gone. In baseball, they gone 100 games. But in boxing, oh, UFC, they done. But in boxing, you got people out here still making excuses. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Man, Devin Haney, he gonna he gonna get that that loss taken off his record. It's gonna be a no contest. But yeah, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think.